Hey there! In today's video, I am going to be making some custom artwork on a wood panel with Posca paint pens and acrylic paint. An extra exciting thing about this video, other than the fact that I'm here on your screen. I'm so sorry. No, but this video is actually sponsored by Flexi Spot, which is that desk behind me. It's a standing motorized desk that moves up and down, so you can adjust it to your height. Thank you Flexi Spot for the awesome desk. I'm definitely going to be using it because I sit down way too much. It's not a good thing, so I'll be standing up more. Now without further ado, let's get on into the Posca. Now without further ado, let's get on into the Posca paint pen art. I am going to take this blank wood panel. I already sanded it down to make it more smooth and I'm going to be using Posca pens for most of it but also some acrylic paint. Both of these are water-based paints so it's going to mix together really well. The first thing I did as you can see is taped down a drawing that I have on this piece of paper here. On the back you probably noticed I put graphite all over. Basically just rub a pencil along all the lines so you can transfer that by drawing over them again like you see here. I went with a fairly simple design but don't be fooled this took me many many hours to paint. Paint requires multiple layers sometimes and it requires a lot of touch-ups if you're not careful the first time around or you don't use a small enough brush. Anyway you can see I have all the lines down here and this is the most unsatisfying footage because this marker I wanted to use it up Let's uh, just take a little pause here. I have four of these tangerine orange markers. It's like a yellow orange. Um, one of them is just kind of faulty and it leaks a lot. So I wanted to use that one up first. That is why there's a bunch of puddles of paint on the cat's face. It actually made the painting process a lot easier because it took less time to spread those pools of paint all around. I used that until all the paint ran out and now that marker is just done for. I'm gonna get rid of it. Good riddance. And here I'm taking the other thin marker that I have in that color and I'm going to finish. Look at how much more smooth this one colors. Just so you guys don't think that Posca pens are a pain in the butt to use on wood, they actually flow pretty nicely. It's just I had a bad one for whatever reason. So I'm gonna let the orange dry and then I'm going in with this kind of turquoisey color, aqua, and I'm going to make the bow this color, but just this part of it. So just the top part of the ribbon, and we're gonna shade in the other areas later, but now we are going to move on to this thicker marker here so we can get rid of all the texture and make this color flow evenly. We don't want it to be patchy and look like it, it, it just looks awful right now. So. We are fixing that and this marker did a really good job to make the color a little bit more intense. Oh, here, by the way, is the Leonardo McWhiskers. This is the cat this piece of art is actually inspired by. Introducing the FlexiSpot Electric Height Adjustable Standing Desk. I chose the EB8W model, which I will link below if you're interested in getting one exactly like mine or a different style. Mine has a white steel frame and a textured bamboo top. Also, it comes with this spacious drawer so you can store markers or other art supplies, office supplies, whatever you have. And there's this nifty keypad over here which allows the desk to adjust to whatever height you want. You can even do these presets. It'll remember these heights for the next time you want to sit down or stand up or have someone else use it. I also received this festive holiday gift package from FlexiSpot which is really cute. Having a career as an artist and YouTuber over the years, I have done a lot of sitting while I work. And that's not the best for your health, so I would like to stand up more while I work and while I edit. This desk is absolutely perfect for that. Let's move on to these stripes. Leo doesn't have really dark orange stripes, but this cat does. So after those, I, for some reason, I decided to shade in the bow. I'm taking a few Posca paint pen colors that I want to blend together here. And this is going to make kind of a grayish blue color. So it'll look like the bow has shading underneath 
and I'm using a paintbrush for this and a little bit of water so it flows on and I'm going to also add some darker blue so it looks like there's shadows and highlights. I also went around the entire outline of the bow and this will get rid of all the pencil lines since those aren't easy to erase so painting over them is the best solution and it just will make the bow look a little bit more put together. Now I'm moving on to more orange stripes and then a pretty pink nose along with light pink for the ear triangles and now I decided to paint the frame of this wood panel. So I'm taking some metallic gold paint and a slightly larger paintbrush. I think this is the Nerdy Crafter one. I decided to do this now so I could be a little bit messy with it and then I'm going to paint a light blue background, like the lightest blue I could possibly mix. Actually I lied because after I paint this layer, I'm carefully going around the edges with a small paintbrush by the way. Then after I get all the detailed areas, I can save a little bit of time by going in with that bigger brush. This is actually probably the lightest shade of blue. It's practically white. I'm trying to do a gradient from a whitish color to a darker turquoise. You can't really tell too much on camera, but I promise in person it makes a big difference. It helps the cat really pop and put a little bit of contrast between the body and the background. And around the edge, I do a slightly darker version of that light blue. Now that the background is complete, I'm gonna touch up some areas with the paint pen. I got some of that light color onto the orange, no bueno. I decided on brown for the mouth because I thought black would be a little bit too harsh. And then we have even more stripes that I'm putting on the top of his head and a white tummy. So Leo actually has a white stomach and four white paws. He wears socks, it's the cutest. I wanted to make this part a little bit textured and I realized after that I didn't really like the shape so I did go over that with the orange and it went over it really nicely and covered everything up. So once it was a better shape, I let it dry for a little bit and then went back in to do another layer and this is where the texture really, really pops. So I moved on to the tail and did really tiny triangular stripes. Some on the body or the legs as well. And then this really detailed line work with a tiny precision brush. We're getting down to the final steps with this very fine tip black Posca pen. I am coloring in the eyes, letting that dry, and then going in with white acrylic to put the highlights to bring this kitty cat to life. Some people call me out for not signing my work, so I came up with this signature on the spot. I don't know why I've never designed, you know, my, my initials to look like this, but I think it turned out cute. This might be my signature signature moving forward. At this point, I had in my mind, oh my gosh, it's done, yay, I'm doing all these final product shots and pans and everything with the camera. But then I realized as I walked away and loaded footage to my computer while I was watching it back, the cat has no whiskers. So I went back and added those in. Now it is complete. You cannot have Leo McWhiskers without whiskers. 
If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up, pretty please subscribe and turn on bell notifications. Also check out my previous videos. I will link a playlist below and I'll put them in the iCard up in the corner there. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys very soon in the next one. Bye. Now without further ado, let's get it. Now without further ado, let's get on into the Posca art. There's a hair. Oh, that's connected to my head still. I did not. Oh my gosh.